Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we completed designing this uh, draggable contact form using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I will leave the link of the previous video in the description below. And here we can see this is how it looks. We have this contact icon over here and if I click on that, we have this contact form displayed over here. And if we drag over this area right here, we can drag it to anywhere on the screen. And then we can just type the contact form and click on send message. Now this is just the design. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this contact form to your blogger website. So let's get started. All right, this is the dashboard of my blogger website. And if I click on theme, you can see I'm using this theme called Contempo Aqua. It comes by default with blogger, this theme right here. Now to add this contact form, we have to modify the HTML of the theme. So let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And here we need to add the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. Let's scroll down and uh, here we can see this is all the CSS of the theme. Let's scroll down and go to the end of the theme CSS. All right, this is where the CSS ends. So let's make some space over here. And uh, I'll just create a comment. I'll just type draggable contact form. And here we will add the CSS. So let's go to the source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to the style.css file and let's copy everything from here. And let's go back and paste it over here. All right, our CSS has been copied. Now the next thing we will do is add the HTML. So let's scroll down and go to the end. And here just before the body ends, let's make some space over here. And uh, here we can add the HTML. But if we just add the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript, this uh, functionality of the contact form will not work. So we need to add some more blogger specific code. So first of all, let me just add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag. And let's go back to the source code. And let's copy the JavaScript from main.js file. And let's paste that over here inside the script tag. Right now let's add the blogger specific code for contact form. So in blogger we have widgets. So we need to add a widget for contact form. Now to add a widget in blogger you have to create a section. So in the section you can add widgets in blogger. So the first thing we will do is create a section. So let's type less than b colon section. This is how you create a section in blogger. And you have to give it an ID. So let's give it an ID of draggable contact form. And uh, let's close that over here. So just type forward slash b colon section. And now in this section we can add widgets. So let's add a contact form widget. So let's type less than b colon widget. And let's give it an ID of contact form 2. Because I think we already have a contact form with an ID of contact form 1. And let's give it a type of contact form. And now the next thing you have to do is click on save and blogger will generate some code for contact form. So let's click on save. And now if you scroll down, we can see that blogger has auto generated this code. So this is our section with an ID of draggable contact form. And in that we have created this widget with an ID of contact form too. So this is the contact form. We have all this code generated by blogger. So we have these input fields over here. We have the submit button and we also have error message or success message displayed over here. Now the next thing you have to do is integrate our code with this code right here. So let's go back to our HTML and here we can see this is our code. So we also have this input fields over here and we also have this button. Now we have to copy all of this and we have to integrate the input fields inside this contact form into our contact form. So what I will do is inside this uh, includable with an ID of content I'll just make some space over here and let's paste our custom contact form over here. Let's paste the HTML over here and then we'll make the necessary changes. So let's go back and let's copy all this HTML from here. And let's paste it over here. All right, our HTML has been copied and this is how it looks. Now the next thing you have to do is replace all these input fields with these input fields right here. Now before that, let me just delete these extra elements over here. So we don't need to have this paragraph or this uh, label. So let's delete these. And we don't need to have this paragraph as well. So let's delete this. 
and we also don't need to have this message and we'll also delete this right here and we have a paragraph over here as well and then we also have a paragraph over here and if you scroll up we can see that uh, we also have a class for this uh, button so we have a class of send btn and for this input fields we don't have any class but we have placeholders name email and message so let's add that and we also have a row of five so let's scroll down and here first of all let's add the class to the button now this is the button because we have a type of button and uh, we already have some classes over here so let's add one more class over here called send btn and for the text area we already have a rows of five and let's also add the placeholders so we don't have any placeholders right now so here for the text area let's add a placeholder of i think it's message so let's add message over here and then for this input field we have a placeholder of email and for this one we have a placeholder of name right now let's copy all these input fields from here and let's scroll up and let's paste it over here so let's delete all these uh, lines of code and let's paste the input fields over here right now let's delete the unnecessary code so we have this uh, includable with an id of content so in that we have this draggable contact form and uh, we can now delete this contact form from here and uh, now we have the end of the includable over here so let's delete this space and i think that's it with the contact form so let's go ahead and click on save All right now let's go back and let's open the website so let's click on view blog and here we can see we have the contact form displayed over here now we are not able to click on this contact icon that's because we don't have the correct z index so let's go back and let's click on edit html and let's go to the css and let's add a z index to the contact icon and we'll also add the z index to the contact form so here for the contact icon let's type z index and let's set it to let's try 400 and even for the contact form let's type z index and let's type 400 and let's save it and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page right now let's click on this contact icon and we have the contact form displayed over here and if you drag this we can see that we are able to drag it across the screen now if you scroll up and down we can see that the contact form also scrolls so right now we have set the position of this contact form to absolute now we have to set it to fixed so that it will not move when we scroll down so let's go back to our code and let's go to the css and uh, for the contact form let's type position and let's set it to fixed we already have the position set over here so let's change this to fixed now let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's click on this contact icon and now if we scroll up or down we have the contact form at the same position so everything is working all right now if you simply add some information over here and send it it will be sent to the email associated with your blogger website let's send a message so let's add some values over here so let's type john john at email.com and great website and let's click on send and we can see it says your message has been sent now here we can see we have a different styling for this button after sending the message so let's see what's the problem let's right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see for the button we don't have a class of send btn after the message was sent so what we will do is we'll just copy this class from here and we will add this selector so let's copy this class from here and let's go back to our css and here instead of send btn let's just add the class so i'll just add it over here contact form button and now it should work so let's save it 
let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and uh, let's click on this contact icon let's send a message so let's add some name over here and let's click on send and we can see that we have the correct class applied over here so we have the correct styling now the last thing we have to do is we have a message written over here now we need to style it correctly so if I just click on send we can see we have this message a valid email address is required so let's style this we will just add a basic white background color to this message so let's go back to our code let's scroll down and go to the HTML and here we can see this is the error message and this is the success message so here for the container I'll just add some styles so we already have this style attribute over here we already have some styles over here so let's add our styles let's add a background color of white and I think we'll also set a line height of 1.8 and let's save it and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now let's click on send and we have this error message displayed over here if I click on this contact icon once again we already have some space over here we have some white background over here so we need to remove the padding and margin of the error and the success messages so let's go back and here for these two paragraphs I just add some styles so let's type style and uh, let's set the margin to zero and also the padding to zero we'll do the same for a second paragraph and here for the button we need to have send message written so here we can see send message so let's change that as well let's go back and uh, let's go to the button this is the button so here we can see we have this expression now we'll just remove this expression we'll just add a value and we'll set the value to send message and let's click on save All right let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's click on this contact icon and now we can see we don't have any problems we have the correct styling and we also have the correct value for the button and if I click on this button we can see we have this error message and we have a correct styling for the error message as well so that's basically how you can add a draggable contact form to your blogger website now I will leave the link of this source code in the description below so you can go ahead and copy and paste the code to your websites alright so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day